In today's video, I will be showing you how to reset Windows 10 back to the original default settings. This will mean that you will have the option to completely remove everything in Windows or you will be able to keep your personal files. But personally, I do recommend that you make a backup of your personal files just in case anything was to go wrong with the reset. Because the last thing you want to do is lose your personal data. So make sure you do back that up to a USB stick. Also resetting Windows will remove any installed programs on your computer and it will hopefully be able to resolve any issues you are having with Windows 10. So say you are getting an error with the start menu not loading or perhaps you keep getting some sort of error message pop up, this will fix those issues. If this doesn't fix those issues, then it might be an issue with your hard drive or some part of hardware on your computer. The first thing we need to do is right click on the start menu and you then need to click on settings. You now need to go ahead and click on update and security and you now need to go ahead and click on recovery. You now need to click on get started under reset this PC and you will now have two options. This is the option that I was talking about. You can keep your files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on keep my files. But like I said, make sure you have backed up your files as well. If you don't want to keep your files, then you can click on remove everything. This option will completely remove everything. You will now have two options to choose from. You can either choose cloud download which means it will download the latest updates and the latest version of Windows from the internet, but you do need to have an active connection. Or you can do local reinstall if you don't have a connection to the internet. I'm going to go ahead and select local reinstall. And you then need to go ahead and press next and just make sure you are happy with the current settings. And it will now begin to get things ready. You will then see the final warning. You need to make sure you are completely happy with the options here. As you can see, it says it will change settings back to their defaults. It will keep my personal files. It will reinstall Windows from this device and it will remove all apps and programs. I am absolutely happy with those settings. So I can now go ahead and press reset. Once you are happy, go ahead and press reset. And as you can see, it is now preparing the reset. Your computer will automatically restart during the process. Once your computer has finished resetting, you will then notice that you will have your original user profiles if you did select to keep personal files. If you didn't, then you will need to go back through the original settings as if you were setting up a brand new computer. As you can see, I am back on my original desktop because I chose to keep my personal files and on my desktop I actually have a file on my desktop that says removed apps. If I open up this file it gives me a list of all the apps that were removed from my PC when doing the reset. And that is how easy it is to reset Windows 10. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did hit the like button below and subscribe. For more computer sluggish tutorials.